Straight. It's Miss Street. Hope you're having a good day. It's a beautiful day outside. Ready to subitize? Here we go. But I only want a quantity of four. What do I take away? Let me go back. Let me go back. Only want one. How many do I take away? That one was hard. But I only want to have a quantity of five. Hmm. How many do we take away? Oh, I saw that. Did you? Can you do it without Miss Street going back? All right, one more. I'm going to have to go back. How many do we take away? Good job. Great job subitizing. All right, guys. Zeb helped me uh, rig up this board right here. Um, and it's a really heavy piece of wood. Um, but I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm really trying to work on the angles um, so you can see exactly what Miss Street's doing. So if this thing falls and I scream, um, I might end the live video because... Um, it's really heavy and I, I, I've i got it propped up in the back, so hopefully it won't fall over. But I'm just saying, if it does fall and I scream, um, I might end the live video and, and come back later and, and finish up, okay? So today we're gonna finish our schedule of second graders of telling time. We're still uh, using analog and digital clocks to the nearest five minutes. And that is a country song, by the way. I looked it up. Um, and remember how we talked about how our brains are analog. Um, our brains think analog, um, but digital is, impo is important too, but um, it's important for us to really understand the analog clock, okay? That will help us just be much better. So now I'm gonna attempt to scoot you closer. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous that this thing's gonna fall and I'm gonna scream and embarrass myself on Facebook Live, but I'm gonna try to. Okay, so I'm gonna move you up closer to, um, so you can see our analog clock here and our number lines um, and where we left off yesterday. Remember second grade, you guys also have to talk about AM and PM. That's a true story. The street thinks that's hard. Um, and I'm really trying to go slow with this because this standard along with your geometry standard that we did last week really, really, really helps with third grade um, in, in all kinds of things with uh, measurement data, with um, fractions. Um, it all goes together. So knowing this is really important. So if we're talking about AM, we might use these phrases. We might say in the morning, this morning, um, in the middle of the night, I go walking in my sleep. Okay. A lot of times we talk about, um, and I mentioned yesterday, I might say, Brian woke me up in the middle of the night snoring. So we say in the middle of the night, but what that really means is that's really early in the morning. And also midnight begins the a.m. hour. But we think of midnight as being at night, don't we, in the p.m. Um, these phrases we use for a p.m. in the afternoon this evening at night and it's bedtime. So yesterday we stopped at our, um, we stopped our schedule at 1055 and um, we had just did a math problem that, um, yeah, 
here it is. We just completed a math problem and we spent a long time on that math problem. Um, again, this is a made up schedule. Miss Street just made this up, okay? I don't want you to think this is a real schedule. Um, so we took a break at 1055 and Miss Street showed you 1055 digitally here. I showed it to you on the um, analog clock. What I forgot to do um, was hop our minutes. So because we're always showing how we're going, there are 60 minutes and getting to the next hour. And um, here we go. So we had, we went from eight to nine, nine to 10, and now it's 10.55. So remember, there's five minutes in between 12 and each, each number on our clock, 12 and one, that's five, 10, 15. So we're gonna hop on our number line too. So there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, whoop, which is half past, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, okay? That's not gonna fall, hallelujah. So I forgot to do my hops there for you. So next on our schedule for today, this was really yesterday, but we're going slow, it's okay. Is it 11 o'clock? Would that be in the a.m. or p.m. to eat lunch? We're still in the a.m. in the morning. So let me street circle a.m. So let's show. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo. There it goes. Oh, Lord. Okay. It's going to be fine. Oh, my goodness. Please don't do this to me. Lord, okay, I'm not gonna end. I'm not gonna end. We're just, I'm just gonna do this with my <laughs> with my book. Lord have mercy. You can't make this stuff up, people. COVID nineteen. Okay, hang on. I'm working to make sure. <gasps> Whew, that scared me straight. Okay, I'll work on that. So 11 a.m. We're gonna keep swimming. P. Sherman Wallaby Way. Just keep swimming. All right. So. At 11 o'clock, we're gonna show that digitally. So to show digital, Miss Street is just gonna erase what I did here. Again, um, I use Uno cards for this too, and that might be helpful. Um, so you don't have to erase, you just wanna use your cards. So we're gonna show 11 o'clock. What time is it? It's time for lunch. Yes, Miss Street went there, bubble guppies. 11 o'clock. And we're still in the a.m. So um, with our minutes, we know we've went 55. If we go five more minutes, that gets us to the next hour. So here we are at 11 o'clock. Okay. And then our analog clock, we show it as our hour hand goes straight up at zero, zero, or 60 minutes, and our, um, sorry, that's our minute hand, and our hour hand is going to point to 11, okay? So, now let's see what's next on our schedule. So, we're, we've had lunch, hmm, 12 a.m. or p.m., work on my packet. Hmm, just one. I'm only gonna do just one thing in my packet, though. So, hmm, what happens when we get to 11 to 12? What happens? It turns to, do you see my word? It's called noon. And that helps us to know when we go from 11 a.m., we go to the next hour, that begins the, can you see it? Not really. Oh, dear. Miss Street's got everything taped. I had it all together. But it's okay. Everything's fine. So it's PM. That's right. So now we have moved on people to the PM. Now, is it dark outside at noon? No, it's just the afternoon. And that's okay. That's something we really need to understand. Okay. So let's show this on our. Mm, <laughs> on our um, digital clock. 
So I'm just going to change that number right there to a 2. Okay, 12 o'clock. So really I went from 11 to 12. So in minutes, that means that I went for lunch. I took a whole hour for lunch. So let's show that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And that gets me from 11 to 12 on my number line. Do you see? Okay. And to show that on um, the analog clock, this one's kind of tricky because you really can't see. But um, the hour hand is pointing straight up to the 12 with the minute hand. Looks like that. Okay. So now we're in the PM. Hallelujah. So let's see what's next on our schedule. So we just, um, at noon, we work, pick something from our packet to work on. So then after that at 12.30 a.m. or p.m., we're going to work out with Miss McIntyre because we love Miss McIntyre. Whoop, whoop. She's got lots of videos on uh, YouTube. Um, our YouTube channel, and lots of PE teachers do. So you find your favorite PE teacher and work out. So are we AM or PM with this one? Yep, PM. We just did it. We're in the afternoon now. Get it? After noon. <laughs> okay. So 12.30. That's three tens on our clock. We also know for Miss Ramsey, that's half past. Whew. So, here I go. I'm at 12. So, so um, I worked on my packet for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. So, now I'm half past 12. And we know when we're half past, Miss uh, Ramsey taught us that when we divide our clock in half, that the minute hand points down to the 6th. Okay, and our hour hand's going to be half past the 12. So 12 30. Okay, good job. Let's see what we do next. At one o'clock, so we worked out for how many minutes? 30 minutes. AM or PM, we're going to read some more. We know we're in the PM, that's right. We're in the afternoon, okay? So, what time did I say? One o'clock? So, 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 one o'clock. So, we went five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 more minutes. So, that gets us from 12 to one o'clock in the afternoon. Can you see? Okay. And then with our analog clock, we show this with the hour minute hand pointing straight up. The hour hand is at pointing to the one o'clock. All right. Here we go. Let's see what's next. The street's going to move these guys. 120. We're going to do some art. We know we're in the P.M. We're in the afternoon. After the noon hour. Okay. So 120, we write that as uh, two tens and zero ones. So 1120, sorry, 120, we're going to do some art. So we go 5, 10, 15, 20. Here's where we are. Okay. 120 and then here I'm not quite half past yet so um, I know when I count by fives on my clock or I can do it this way to relate to my two tens I know I have um this is 10 minutes 5 10 this is 10 minutes 5 10 that's two tens so it points to the four a little bit better Okay. All right. Ms. Street's going to keep going. I want to get finished with the schedule. So at 2 a.m. or p.m., 
we might do music with Miss Halk or Mr. Moore. They have lots of fun songs on Facebook Live or on the YouTube channel. We know we're in the PM, correcto mundo. Okay, so to do this, Miss Street is just going to write that digitally, and I write that to zero, zero. So I went from 120 to two, so I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 minutes, okay? So I worked um, on my art for 40 minutes, and now I'm going to do some music. So I went from 1 o'clock to the next hour, 2 o'clock, okay? Let me show it on my analog clock. Two o'clock. Okay. All right, let's do Jeez Louise. We'll do one more and we'll finish th this tomorrow. Okay. But like I said, mystery is purposefully going slow with this because this is very important for you second graders. Okay. So at 2.30 a.m. or p.m., we got some free time to rest. We know we're in the afternoon, so we know it's going to be in the p.m., okay? And we know that's three tens, three ten-minute segments, okay? So, and we also know that that's half past. So, two, now we got to go through our minutes again. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, half past the two. So I know my hour hand's gonna be in between two and three, and my minute hand's gonna go straight down. But I also want to show you why how it connects to our um, what we've been talking about three tens and zero ones, the real name. So I know that's ten minutes, that's ten minutes, and that's ten minutes. And so I have three ten minutes with no minutes left over. Okay, so going to stop there and we're going to pick back up here tomorrow. Hopefully we'll finish the schedule. If not, that's really okay. Miss Street really wants to take time with this. So um, if you kiddos have got it, good to go. Great. Um, um, I'm going to try, if we finish this tomorrow, I'm going to show you a really cool game you and your family can play for fun. Um, that really helps with telling time and it also will help you with money because this all connects people. It connects. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.